Welcome back. This weekend is the unofficial start of summer, but many traditional Memorial Day activities will be put on hold this year, including those vacations. NBC's Liz McLaughlin has more about what to expect this weekend and beyond. Normally, it's the kickstart to a busy summer travel season. But this Memorial Day weekend may be a quiet one. We actually expect to see a record low set for travel volume. It's the first time in two decades AAA isn't releasing a travel forecast, but Americans are expected to stay at home, with the CDC recommending against non-essential travel. The coronavirus pandemic has totally turned the travel industry upside down. Airlines have been hit especially hard, with a 90% drop in flyers since the beginning of March. But as some areas begin reopening, Americans are starting to show an interest in traveling again. We're seeing about over 40% of Americans planning to take a trip this summer. According to Hopper, users' activity on the app quadrupled in recent weeks, but experts warn to plan with caution. Hawaii, for example, requires a 14-day quarantine for visitors through June, with a possible $5,000 fine or year in prison for violators. If you're going to travel, you need to understand the rules and regulations of where you're traveling to. But the industry is eager to get back to business. Airports preparing for summer with new social distancing and sanitation procedures. We've taken aggressive measures to get the airport ready. All major U.S. airlines now require masks, and some will start temperature checks in June. I think we will be a smarter, safer traveling public when this is all said and done. Change is almost certain to mean rising costs and airfares. Liz McLaughlin, NBC News. And the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention guidance urges avoiding travel as much as possible, especially if your trip is not essential. Don't travel if you are sick or with someone who is sick. And now.